keeping Perpignan the last couple of years. They uh, would dearly love it not to be them this year. Nobody wants that, uh, not that job. I mean, uh, Oyena looks set to finish bottom of the table, but uh, 13th place very much uh, up for grabs. Montpellier also in the mix there. They were at uh, Toulon a little bit uh, earlier this afternoon and got hammered, 54 points to seven. So um, Pe uh, Montpellier certainly, in spite of their good recent run, uh, it's still in a little bit of trouble. So the team's out as Jeremy Ward of the uh, Stade Francais side, there's Leo Barre, the uh, new France uh, fullback. Two caps to his name during the Six Nations and one try. Did, uh, did himself a, a great deal of good. We'll see how that impacts him now that he resumes his club career. Stade Francais. If you watch at the top 14 regularly, you know they're in the pink. Capitaine Noir. It's been their, uh, it's been their colours for uh, some time now. Sami Radradra is the man preparing to receive, and off they go. It's Zach Henry gets the game underway, dropping the ball deep into the uh, Lyon 22. Have a terrible so far this season. Uh, they've lost 13 out of 14 in the last year. The only, the only one they didn't lose in that period was a draw against Stade Francais, 31 all uh, last May. Bonkers game, that one. It was 28-3 to the Parisians at half-time. Lyon came back and got the draw. Remarkable uh, second half indeed. But at the moment, the ball with the uh, pink shirts of Stade Francais, Brad Weber feeding the ball out. He gets caught with Barre. He's held up there by uh, Felix Lombi, but back it comes. In goes uh, Paul Gabriag. He also uh, uh, played a couple of games during the Six Nations for France. Little dink over the top from Henry. Well gathered and uh, driven back into Stade Francais territory, Barre. Chance for uh, Chapche to drill the ball upfield. Barre once again. Oh, shapes to kick and then decides to go uh, ball in hand. Hasn't quite worked for him. It's been ripped away from him. And now Leon have it. They've uh, gone the aerial route as well. And the ball cleared. Once again, upfield. A little bit of uh, aerial tennis going on at the moment. Straight out. The lawmakers looking to uh, get rid of what we've, uh, what has become known as Dupont's uh, Dupont's law at the moment. That uh, game of kicking the ball high and everyone has to stand still while the ball is. Kick between 22s, and that would be a good thing. Mikhail Ivaldi is the hooker, finds his man. Ivaldi, formerly of uh, Lyon. And on his way at the end of the season as well to uh, Toulon. Stand from say, rolling forward, is ripped away once again, this time by Liam Coltman. It's a little knock on and a bit of uh, trouble here. A little break through the middle. There goes Weber. Looking early, uh, looking sharp as well, the uh, the Kiwi. Gabriag has it, feeds on. Zach Henry gets his hands on the ball. Now, what can Stadfran say do? They've got men there. In goes Irigoyen, the number eight. Weber feeds. They've got the impetus at the moment, the pink shirts. They just want to keep this uh, moving with some quick ball. It's come out again. It's gone to ground, it's gone backwards. It's still there for Stade Francais. Weber going short, Barre brings it round the other side, looks for a hole, just then feeds uh, Moses Alouemil, the uh, loose head prop. The big drive's coming in. The 
the ball slowed down a little bit now. The forwards uh, with the pick and goes. Looking to work their way towards the line. Little pop there. He's out to play, I think. Uh, it was Eric Goyen who went for the uh, scrummage. The tackle came in. He wasn't able to touch down, but there's a high tackle. And they're going to come back for the penalty. Benoit Rousselet, the uh, referee today. And uh, Zach Henry does what needs to be done. Pops it into the corner. Stan Francais will come again. There's the high tackle. Michael Ivaldi. 34 years old now, Ivaldi. Still one of the better throwers. And finds his man, finds Gabriel. Keeps rolling forward, the uh, French lock forward. Irigoyen, oh, the ball bobbles out of control, but it's, again, it's gone backwards, says the ref. The tackle's flying in from Leon at the moment. Another uh, offence, I think, maybe. No. On they play. Leon very, very close to uh, getting themselves offside. And the referee bringing them back. Well, there were so many here. The referee just saying there were two faults there. Which one do you which one do you want? It's Jeremy Ward who's uh, making the call immediately. And the high tackle, Baptiste Couillou, the uh, Lyon captain, uh, getting a little bit of a warning there from uh, referee Rousselet. So about they come, just trying to work out there where uh, they were. Question Jeremy Ward wasn't quite clear on uh, what he was allowed to call there. So uh, they're going back. He was able to ask for the line out. Stade Francais up on the five meter line, six minutes into play. It's been all, uh, all Paris at the moment in these early stages. Once again, Gabriel leaps high. Evaldi at the back, has the ball. Etienne has joined in there, the winger, lending extra weight to the uh, to the ruck, but it's Weber who's tossed around in the tackle. Hell up, back it comes. Again, a warning to uh, Leon not to encroach. It's some good tackling, though. Doing well, bringing Irigoyen back. Oh, and that has, uh, has gone to ground, and that is a knock-on, and that will annoy them, as you can see. Frustrating. Well, Leon, for the moment, can breathe. They've got some work still to do. They're under pressure. And this is a good Stade Francais pack this year. It's one of the reasons why they have been so competitive, why they are up there at the top of the table. Years gone by, they've been a bit fragile up front, but uh, they've got some real meat in there. Moses, Aloe Milas, Loosehead, Ivaldi, and then Francisco Gomez Cudella, 38 years old at tighthead. Gabriel and Pacenti in the uh, engine room. Haley Fenua, Briat, and Irigoyen in the back row, but it's come back with uh, Lyon. They did well then, good clean ball. Leo Berdeau drills the ball into touch. Leo Berdeau only making his fifth start of the season. Uh, Leo Berdeau, he's had a few injuries. 39 points to his name. Valdi once again goes short this time. Back it comes. Quick ball. They like that. Weber feeding the drilling in goes uh Harley Fanua.
There's real energy in this uh, Stade Francais pack at the moment. They are launching themselves into the Lyon defence. Little dink through from Barre. Doesn't work. Well, there's an interception. This could be trouble. It's uh, Joe Marchant going for the line. He can't get it down. It's cleared. It's scrambled away by Shabche. All the way back. Barry down the line, and again, this is an awkward bounce for Leon. There's pressure on the Leon uh, defenders, scrambling to get the ball away. Etan Dumontier doing well. This is real harem scarum stuff for uh, Leon, trying to get themselves out of trouble. Amazingly, after nearly 10 minutes. It's still nil-nil because uh, Stan Francais have been hammering away in this uh, 22, putting the pressure on the visitors. Unable to convert that into points. Kuyu gets the ball into touch and everyone can take breath. Well, this was the intercept. Marchant. Unable to, uh, well, didn't just didn't have any support there when he was dragged down. Ivaldi with the uh, throw. So he's Gabriel at the front, this time going long, and it's stolen by uh, Joel Kapoku, the Englishman, wearing number six. And away comes Kuyu. Feeds Maraku. Kuyu again. Ball popped up. Berde. Now, this is the first time Leon have really had any uh, time with the ball and chance to build any kind of play or platform. Sebastian Taufi Fenua. And. Uh, Beata Fotueka, both involved, Maraku. Berder feeds. Who are you with a dink over the top? This is interesting. Oh, didn't quite work. Nice idea, almost worked, but now there's a gap opened up. Hamdawi. Likes to see the gap. Barre is on his way through. Sends the ball out wide for Lester Etienne. Etienne has it. Beats one tackle. He's dragged down just uh, six metres or so from the line. Once again, Stade Francais coming. Little pop pass into touch. And once again, the opportunity goes a begging. Baptiste Pesenti just couldn't quite finish it off. Kilan Hamdawi, such a, a lightning rod there. Barre just slicing through as well, but uh, Etienne did well, managed to get through Radradra. But then Persenti couldn't find his man. Good take again by Kapoku, but a uh, little bit untidy. Bit of pressure there on uh, David Niniashvili. Georgian doing really well. Gets that one clear. Back to Etienne. The ball being fizzed around. These games always entertaining. They average 49 points in the top 14, these matches between Stade Francais and Lyon. Now, over the years, it's Lyon who have actually had the better of them. They've met 19 times previously in the top 14. Lyon have won 12 of those. Stade Francais have won six, and one has been a draw. But of course, uh, as I say, you have to remember, Leon's away record is abysmal at the moment. They need to change something. Nice. Oh, well, that's uh, gone to ground, and it's a chance for Halifanua. Weber feeds Marchant with the kick through. Oh, he's led way too much lead on that one.
Yeah, you may be able to get away with that at the stoop. But you can't at the Jean Boin. Way too heavy. Yeah, looks like we may have a man down. It might be Maraku who took a hit. Always in the wars, uh, Berdeux. Reprise du temps, messieurs en place. Chacun vos marques. Well, Stade Francais have had the, uh, the better of things, certainly, thus far. Leon, oh, there's a steal, is that? No. Cutting across. And the, uh, the free kick goes the other way. Felix Landy making, uh, making an interesting Landy. That was uh, Julien Puricelli. Looks after the forwards for Lyon. And there we have uh, Karim Ghazal. Made such a big difference, Karim Ghazal, since joining after the World Cup from the French team. He and uh, Laurent Labitte have just taken this. Uh, I would suspect to Gonzalo Quesada, who did a fabulous job with them and has done a great job with Italy. Oh, this is a problem for Nini Ashvili. He does well to recover, but he's in trouble. Uh, sorry for uh, Dumortier. Stade Francais keep coming, but they've gone over the top. It's Lester Etienne, a little bit over-enthusiastic in his... Uh, Rucking, I think, going off his feet. And Karim Ghazal not impressed there by the decision of Benoit Rousselet. Here came Stan Francais, Jeremy Ward doing really well, and then, uh, whereas you can see, off his feet, over the top. So strong, Ward gets in uh, so much work, but you can see Etienne. That falls, and uh, it's Leon who come away now from uh, with the ball. Coltman. Little feed for uh, Nini Ashwilly. It went forward, though. 21 year old. Not able to make the most of the space there. He didn't have a lot of space. Good covering. Put him into touch. So, Ivaldi with the line out. Jean-Pierre says it's OK. It looked uh, not particularly straight as Roman Briat uh, collected it. Almost uh, it went straight to him, didn't it? But uh, anyway, Stade Francais have it. Weber launches the high ball and it's patted back by Etienne. Stop, stop, stop. And the angle of attack changes. Bumped forward. And the high ball comes back the other way. Barre has it. Weber. Ward held up. Weber feeding Pesenti. Referee looking to speed it up again. This is in the new guidelines, which uh, World Rugby is looking at. 
Getting rid of the dreaded caterpillar would be a start. Bardo goes over the top. Uh, there's a little bit of space for Zach Henry. What's he going to do? Feeds outside him. Weber to Pacenti. Being used as a bit of a battering ram, Pacenti. It's the kind of game he likes. Pierre Henri Azago is on the bench, as is Seku. Makalu and Giovanni Abelkufner, so they've got plenty of uh, backup for when the time comes. But Pacenti's batteries run a little bit low. It's messy, isn't it? But uh, Barry managed to do really well there, gets it to Etienne. Now down the touchline, was there a foot in touch? There was indeed. So uh, Irigoyen, not quite able to escape, just didn't have quite enough run. A little bit of uh, pushy shovey. Pacenti, that was, uh, here you see the foot, just on the line. Good call by the uh, touch judge. And the penalty. For Lyon. Doesn't make touch though, Mare. Fires the ball back upfield. And Bedder gives it back with interest. Barry again, he's got a good uh, right peg on him as well. He's a, a fly half by nature, Leo Barry. He's been playing as fullback this season and capped by France at 15 with uh, Thomas Ramos. Moving into that number 10 position to uh, cover for Mathieu Jalibert. So uh, he's a, a good player to have on your side, uh, Barre. At the moment, the ball with uh, Weber. There is Barre. Irigoyen looking for a way through. Drag down. Ball still there. There's a high tempo in this game as Gabriel drives in. Zach Henry with the feed. But uh, Halifanua unable to get very far. Ward held up. Barre. Moses Alouemiu. Oh, a little knock on once again. Well, the referee stops and brings him back for the scrimmage. Stan Francais will be getting a little bit frustrated with the way things have been going so far. They've had so much ball. They've created a lot of opportunities, but uh, just little moments like that. Little knock on from uh, Tangana, highly for now. New recruit this season, Ali Fanoa from Grenoble. Nil nil it remains. Pass the quarter. Kuiu looking for space out wide. Maraku steps back inside. Kuyu goes again. Oh, this is nicely done, and Kapoko is away. Kapoko on his way to the line, is he? No, getting a little uh, knock on from the Englishman. And now, for the first time, it's Stade Francais under a little bit of pressure. In the shadow of their own posts. Weber being told to get on with it. The New Zealander, oh, digs it out, but uh, it's messy, isn't it? OK, on revient là. En avant noir qui profite pas. And back they come for the knock-on from Kapoku. 
On a un pas de recul sur les box kicks. Je pense que j'ai fait une vraie impression depuis que j'ai rejoint Lyon de Saracens en 2021. He's in England under 20 international course, hasn't uh, hasn't won a senior cap. He's uh, obviously he's uh, ele in ineligible at the moment, playing in France. On the move at the end of the season, though, Kapoku heading down to or heading across to Poe. Which is uh, a beautiful part of the country, Paul. No, no, no. Weber. Stop, stop, stop. Nine's touch. Well, the Stade Jean Bouin isn't uh, renowned for its uh, its uh, its noise necessarily, so it doesn't compare to. Uh, the grounds down south, but uh, it's quite a buzz today. They've not seen any points yet, but that team has been playing well. High tackle, penalty. Uh, oh, oh, and away goes Kuryu. With the feed, but the intercept is there from uh, Ward. They'll come back for the penalty. That was an important intercept, though. Kuyu is uh, yeah, that was the uh, high tackle on Rodrada from uh, Halei Fenua, who uh, has made a few errors in this uh, first half. Halei Fenua. Kuyu scored nine tries and got six assists so far. And that pass, little pass through to Liam Allen. Intercepted. But Leo Berda. Looking to make the first points of the game. We're in the 25th minute. It's, uh, it's unusual, isn't it, to wait so long for for the first score. And that this by no means an easy one. It's, uh, as you can see, from quite a distance. And it's not a comfortable day. It's been, it was sunny in Paris earlier today, where you can see we've had plenty of rain. It's that spree, those spring rains. This is well clubbed though, and through the middle it goes. First points of the match go to Lyon. After 25 minute, uh, minutes, and it's Leo Berdeur who uh, sticks them on his tally, takes him to 42 for the season. Lyon leads Stade Francais by three points to nil. Well, that will be even more frustrating for the Parisians. They have dominated the match thus far, and they trail. Need to uh, keep themselves calm, though. Stay patient. They're doing a lot of good work. Yvaldi again going along. Well taken by Briat, but this time the referee does say it wasn't straight. And Leon up for the scrummage. Scrummage ran you through the Stade Francais scrum, but not the Lyon scrum. You've got uh, Sebastian Taffy Fenua, Liam Coltman, and Fiazo uh, Kotoeka in the front row. Felix Lombi and Roman Taffy Fenua, both French internationals, in the second row. And in the back row, you've got Joel Kapoku, the Englishman, Liam Allen, the New Zealander, and Jordan Tafua, the Samoan, at number eight. Oh, he is preparing to settle down. 
lié. Je. Good clean ball for Kuyu and he's away. Into touch it goes. Perhaps uh, just taking a little bit too far on his own there, Kuyu. But that is the game he plays. He's a. Uh, he's a really. He's a squirming. Rat up a drain pipe sort of a scrum half. Really annoying for the opposition, of course, but uh, occasionally can um, cut himself off from his supply line. Karim Gazal trying not to give away his emotions there, but uh, he must be a bit irritated to see his team trailing at the moment. They lost last time out. They were hammered by La Rochelle away from home. Prior to that, five wins on the bounce. They've been playing some good rugby stand for say at the moment, though. They trail, and it's Lyon who have the ball, and Kuyu who feeds away outside, and Rodrada has it back again. The Fijian, such a formidable presence in the centres. Gets the ball wide. Nicely done. Niniashvili helping out. Now, is there a little bit of space here for the fullback? Chapche. Kuyu has it. Felix Lombi lays the ball back. Kuyu looks for the gap. He's. Uh, Still there for uh, Taufua, feeds, Taufua goes in, lends a hand. Nini Ashvili makes the feed. Round the corner goes Fotueka. Kuyu back in position, moving it wide, Red Rada. Can't get through there. Dumortier, did he just knock the ball on? I think he did. So both teams having uh, these problems, just clinging on to the ball at the vital moment. Good build-up work by Lyon. They're beginning to uh, show their face. It's really nice, uh, quick hands from the backs. That was the little fumble from Etain Dumontier. So a problem for uh, Sebastian Tafi for Nura. And in his place comes Jerome Ray. Wearing 17. Francais put in this time. They're looking to run it out of defence. Brave work from uh, Jeremy Ward. Where is that ball? Weber has his hands on it now. And successfully finds touch. Well, a good clearance by the uh, the All Black, the former All Black. Formerly of Waikato. Liam Coltman. Formerly of Otago. Makes the throw. Liam Allen, formerly of Canterbury. Takes the ball in, and uh, and then it's uh, Taufua, also a former Canterbury player, who takes it on. <laughs> Maraku, once upon a time of Manawatu, having a say as well. But uh, Leon coming again with Kuyu. 
He has the ball now, looking to feed Berda. Berda feeds Coltman. Kouyou. To Lambie. Oh, Taufua is uh, taking a big knock there. The penalty has been awarded. I think they may have a look at this. Where did that... Uh, Well, he really took a heart bomb there, and uh, whether the tackle was simply offside, and that's that's all we have to worry about. Or was it high? Was it dangerous? Attacking tackle. Was with a shoulder. And the referee, Benoit Rousselet, just happy with the penalty. No cards being flashed. No checks. Lengthy discussion going on. Lines up the kick. Oh, Disappoint again for uh, Sebastian Dalfi Fenua. Here we go. Another three points for Lyon, another three points for Lille Berdeux. And the visitors lead by six points to nil. Well, I don't think this was in the script for the, uh, for the home crowd, certainly with that dominance early on from Stade Francais. Seven minutes remaining in this first half, and uh, their team trailing by six points to nil. Stop, Noir, stop. Still time as Barry feeds Zach Henry. Henry looking for a way through, he's going on his own. Nice up, and he's holding on. So, Zach Henry. Zach Henry after a really nice break gave it away. Belder finds the touch. Here it is. It's a uh, Monaco, M Maraku, sorry, who, who came in really well, did some really good jackling, and uh, Henry had to hold on or lose the ball. Colton goes short. There he is at the back. Leon, a groaning confidence in the last uh, 10 minutes or so. And they've had the better of it as Coltman goes to ground. And this time, he's the man who is pinged for just hanging on a bit too long there. In the tackle. So it was good work by Pacenti. And some uh, the jackling there was from uh, Halle Fenua. Unable to get his uh, hands on the ball because uh, we're unable to rip it away because the tackler the tackled Coltman wouldn't let go. Less than five minutes remaining in this first half. No tries yet. Weber feeds. Henry looking to get the backs moving. Hamdawi who oh, runs into the into the wall. That is uh, Semi Radradra. Briat takes it in. 
and the penalty awarded against Fotoeka. They've got three and a half minutes to get themselves on the board. Stade Francais in this first half. And Briat took a, a little bit of a slap to the cheek there on the way through. Of course, I say a little, but uh, it was from uh, Foto the 135 kilogram prop forward. So, uh, yeah, it's probably a little bit more than a little slap to the cheek. Not deliberate. Ivaldi with the line out. Briat just manages to snatch that one. Gabriel has it. Ivaldi looking to drive through. And now the penalty awarded. Misdemeanors in the line out. Now, Stade Francais, do they want to get on the board or will they go for territory? Yeah, Jeremy Ward deciding they need to uh, get the show on the road. So Zach Henry will get his first shot at goal. There were a couple of earlier opportunities when, reasonably enough, they went for the corner from the 22. Looking to uh, just narrow the gap. Zach Henry taking his time. He's got uh, 95 points to his name so far this season. He's Stade Francais' top scorer in the top 14 this year. A new recruit this season from Poe. Oh, I think he's messed that one up. Oh dear, oh dear. Well, that wasn't in the plan. That was a bit of a horrible. Well, it remains 6-0 to Lyon with just a minute and a half remaining in this first half. It's still a manageable gap, that's for sure. Oh, and that uh, could be trouble. Leo Barry was blocked as he was coming through. There's a man down as well, the tackler. The medics are running on. The game is continuing for the moment. Surprisingly, the ref hasn't blown. And needs to need to look after those two. It was difficult to see what exactly was the nature. The play continues, though, and it's uh, Maraku who has the ball. I think the player is distracted a little bit there, thinking the referee might whistle. And in fact, now he does. And I, my feeling is he probably should have done that about 30 or 40 seconds ago. That was a nasty collision. Looks like uh, Liam Allen took a whack. Or is that, uh, or is that Leo Barre? Excuse me. Definitely Barre. Oh, yes, and it was uh, Roman Tafi Fenera, was it? Who is a big beast? Uh, Leo Barre is a, a pretty big boy. He's over six feet, but. Uh, He's a little fella compared with Taufi Fanua. Both of them French teammates, of course. France teammates. The uh, referee now having a little chat with Patrick Delac, who is the, uh, the VAR. The ball is up. And the, uh, it, it looks worse in slow-mo, that's for sure initially there I think to uh, try and uh, charge down the kick he was definitely late onto it so certainly a penalty 
And uh, as he came down, well, perhaps tried to turn his body, tried to get out of the way. I'd hesitate to call that a deliberate one, but... Always better with these ones to watch it in real time. In slow-mo, it looks nasty. Well, the referee, I think, may be calling the sensible one. I, I did say it, it was probably a penalty and uh, may well be nothing more than that. The home crowd, obviously, want to see a card. I'll watch it in real time. There we go. There's Barre on it. Tampi Fenura is up. He's a long way from it. He was never going to get there. It was certainly late. So it is a penalty. So the referee decreeing, and uh, not that it's worth much, but I agree with him that uh, it was too late for. Uh, Roman Tavi Fanua to uh, alter direction. No card given. Just the penalty. So just uh, looking to see where the kick should be from. Just uh, talking to Patrick Della. C'est pour savoir où est la pénalité par rapport au point de chute. It's way back. Attends, les Jojo, c'est bon. Ok, c'est parfait, c'est là. Merci. La pénalité là. Excusez-moi. So the penalty was uh, is being given at the uh, point of uh, w w where the ball was caught. So it's Barry himself. Yeah. Hammers the ball into touch, and uh, so this will be uh, Stade Francais's final opportunity, you would imagine, in this uh, first half. They're inside the 22, Michel Ivaldi. The bell strikes at the end of the half. They will play, it's uh, Gabriel with the take where is the ball it's in there being dug out oh the ball and that is knocked on and that is it so uh, that was a real whimper at the end of that second half from Stade Francais they messed it up Roman Brown yeah touch judge as they leave the field but Leon will reckon they've done a decent job there under the cosh for most of that half, they lead by six points to nil. Going back in for their for their hot drink, cold drink, whatever it is they have, they're rubbed down. Leon Berdeux. Will you continue in the same rhythm? Yeah, we took a lot of pressure earlier. We were in a bit of difficulty. We, uh, we clung on together, worked together, we got good leadership within the group, so we held on, got, to, got ourselves ahead, we're leading at half time, we've got to pay attention now and uh, hope we can uh, carry on in the second half. So Léo Berdeux taken out of the game by Roman Taufi Fenella. But it's his kicking that was so important in the early stages. He was really uh, keeping Lyon backed up in their 22. Stade Francais unable to capitalise. Away we go with Léo Berdeux getting the kick into the 22. And immediately, it's uh, Barre who looks to run it back at the, uh, the Lyonnais. Weber. Digs it out. 
He has it again at his uh, feet. Yeah, the referee urging him to get on with it. And up and over it goes. Oh, almost uh, went into pink hands. It's a comeback for uh, Dumortier. Dumortier has it back again from Chapchier. And Dumortier driving forward. And Lille know if they can um, if they can strike the first blow in this second half, they they really will have a sniff of an opportunity. They've got to try and uh, get Stade Francais on the ropes. It's stolen. Barry. Into open space, the chase is on. Niniashvili is after it. The Georgian doing nicely. Hasn't had any space. Gets it out to Leo Berdeux, though. Hmm, Berdeux runs straight into uh, Baptiste Pacenti. Barry once more. Zach Henry. Marching with the dink through. Oh dear. Didn't work. I think it was meant to be for Hamdawi. Valley drawing off the ball. Still very wet. The sky is very dark. In Paris, we've had beautiful weather the last few days, but uh, it's just turned again. As it does at this time of year. Spring still making its mind up whether it's ready to come or go. Stand from say forwards. Also in two minds about whether to come or go. They're coming at the moment. Driving forward well. This is good work. Up to the 22. Here Goyen looking for a way through. Weber feeds Barres there. Handawi. Here we go in once again, the number eight. Stanford saying moving it up and down the line, but uh, and not making an awful lot of progress beyond the line. Into touch it rolls once more. Line out, but uh, they're going to have to be precise on this. Josiah Maraku. A birthday coming up, Maraku turns 24 on March the 30th. Oh, it's uh, not uh, the best of line outs. Kuyu is scragged to the ground. It is coming back, I think, on the Leon side. They will get themselves out of trouble here. Lambie driving in, just looking to set up a platform, a little bit of a, a cleaner ball to, uh, to clear. Kuyu has it. Where's Belda? Uh, but it's Kuyu who takes it, takes it on and finds the touch. That was Kapoku who uh, was at full stretch, managed to get a, a, a couple of fingers on it, which at least got it back on the Leon side. Big moment this for Stan Francais. They're on the 22, they have the line out. Oh, and Briat cannot hold on to it. And it's Jerome Ray, the prop forward, the replacement prop, who uh, manages to scurry forward, make some yards. Barre sends the ball back down to Berdeau. Fly half. Again, kicks the ball into dead space. Oh, where's that going? Oh, they have gone a bit too. No. Chapchou. 
looking to run it out of defence, scragged by uh, Jeremy Ward. That was brave work from the 22-year-old. Uh, He's uh, gone away with it for the moment, thanks to uh, Liam Allen cleaning up there. Kapoku also in there, but uh, not getting very far at the moment. Stade Francais putting a little bit of pressure on here in the run. Kuyu has the ball. He has the uh, protection. And the kick coming up. And once again, Happy just to bring it into touch and incrementally Leon just working their way up the field. Messi, Messi attempt there from uh, Briant. This is uh, Alexandre Chapje. Joined Lyon in 2020 from uh, Massey, just outside Paris. It's played for the French seven side. Certainly got a turn of pace on him. As is this man, Pandawi, but uh, he's not going to show it off on this occasion. Barry does well there. Oh, there's a little bit of a gap. Marchin looking for uh, Zach Henry. Showing great uh, little steps through. Ward does it, flips the ball back. It has gone forward, though. That's a shame. Deserved better. It was a uh, terrific work from Zach Henry. Uh, Karim Gazal. A little bit uh, out of order. Being urged back into his box. Zach Henry with the uh, show and go. Really nice work from him. Escaped the clutches of uh, Dumortier. Couldn't get past the next two tacklers. It was Ward's uh, pass to Pacenti that went forward. At least it was Pacenti who uh, knocked the ball forward. I wonder if that was deemed the uh, oh, that was deemed the forward pass, the knock on. Looks like it was. So scrimmage time, back again in the Leon 22. This is uh, what we saw for most of the first 20 minutes, 25 minutes. Leon pegged back. Really stretching themselves in defence. Stan Francais just making a little error. And unable to close the deal. Makalu. He's uh, getting anxious. He's got three tries to his name already this season in ten outings. And uh, no mistake, he scored a couple against Poe just a few weeks ago, beginning of the month. Flexion. Terrific uh, performance from Seku Makalu that day, and he was captain. Kuyu feeds and looks to get Leon moving out of defence. It's uh, Madradra taken down. Working hard to get over the line. Number 23 there is Valentin Simutoga. Replacement, 21-year-old uh, tight head prop for uh, Fotoega. Right this season from Claremont. Changes on the Stade Francais side, the front row being changed en masse. So off go Moses Aloemil at loose head, Mikel Ivaldi and Francisco Gomez Cordella. And in their place come Segi Abramashvili, Lucas Pereblanc, and Paul Aloemil, who uh, is a tight head. So unlike his brother, who is a loose. 
du temps. Arbitrage vidéo. Rain, you see. It's been, it's been coming down. Du 7 rose sur le 5 noir avec un potentiel. No, Roman Briat. Roman Briat, the uh, Stade Francais flanker, being investigated now for uh, head on head with Roman Talfi Fenua. Probably that Gabriel, in fact. He didn't get low enough, I suspect, Gabriel. He's certainly caught. He's, he's, it's almost an uppercut on Taufi Fenua. And I wouldn't be surprised if uh, this one does see a card. There is the shoulder. He still were propping for France. To, uh, sorry, uh, locking for France in the Six Nations at the start. I think, I think they both played in that game against Ireland in Marseille. Now on the opposite sides of this tackle. Well, I mean, it's, it's certainly not malicious, uh, but it is. I suspect beyond the law. The height of Gabriel, he's gone in too high. He's not bent the knees sufficiently. I think this would probably be a yellow. But who knows anymore? So he is, he is high, moderate danger. It, it, it's a borderline case, this one. Well, the referee fancies the penalty in the yellow card. And he's reaching into his pocket, and there it comes. So Paul Gabriag He knew it was coming. The, uh, the, the the scrum cap was off. Gabriel knew he'd gone a bit high there. His first yellow card of the season for the 30-year-old. And that makes life just a little bit more difficult for Stade Francais. A trail by six points to nil. And they're now 14 against 15. Not too many signs of uh, surprise there from Laurent Labitte. I think he knew what was coming. Coltman with the throw. It's messy, but it does come back for Liam Allen. The 24-year-old Kiwi looking to uh, make his way through. It's now Simutoga. Kuyu. Radra. Kuyu, Kuyu being scragged by Roman Briat. Scrum half under pressure. It uh, comes back though. Berdeau feeding. Props taking it in. Dumortier lending a hand. And over the top he goes. Good take from Hamdawi. Really good work from uh, Kilan Hamdawi. Well, Weber gets uh, a chance to put his hands on the ball and uh, immediately puts his boot to it. Good take by uh, Etan Dumortier, and he's away the wing up. Oh. Coming back for Felix Lombi. Finds Berdeau. Coltman. Oh, that one squeezed out. It popped out like a bar of soap, that one. La 
Ah, oh, the referee. You may have heard. I'm not quite sure he directed that to. He says the next time I hear you talking, it's going to be a penalty against you. He's getting too much back chat. He's put up with quite a lot, the ref, from both sides. It's a feature of French rugby, which is uh, on the less attractive side. It's more on the football side. There's a big drive in there from Jordan Taufua. Leon looking to make it into the 22. Lombi. They want to take advantage of this uh, one-man advantage they have. Oh, there's good work from Jérôme Murray. They've got a little head of steam up here now. Kuyu pops it up for Simotoga. Lombi again looks to carry. Tafua runs into his own man, Tafi Fanua. So a little bit of good fortune at last for uh, Stade Francais. I'm not quite sure why Roman Taufi Fanu was doing that. He was on a little snooze. More changes coming in with the arrival of Michael Guillard and Arnaud Boita. So Taufi Fanu getting the bird, which is a little bit unfair. A little bit unfair from the home crowd. But uh, it's the modern game. He's done well, Taufi Fanua. And of course, he's uh, done well for France as well. 53 caps to his name. Good game today. They blame him, I think, for that uh, challenge on Leo Barre, which he got away with. And then, of course, he was the victim of the Gabriel challenge, which got the uh, Parisian a yellow card. Good work by the forwards. Sergei Abadanashvili making an immediate impact. Indeed, that fresh front row. And uh, given that they've uh, been missing one, and Jeremy Ward had to go in. There he is, Jeremy Ward wearing the number 12 shirt on the flank. Oh, he's pumped with that. He will be in the bar telling his fellow uh, temporary forwards how to do it, how to scrummage. Luca Pierblanc finds Romain Briat. Well, this is good work by the uh, Parisian forwards. Pierblanc has the uh, ball back under. Under his arm, feeds Weber. Weber goes for the boot. Another high ball. We've seen plenty of that today. It's well taken by the uh, fairly diminutive fullback, Alexandra Chapche. But it's Weber who collects. A wiry, bouncy little uh, New Zealander looking to find a way through. Lester Etienne is with him. Picking up the pace again, Stade Francais. This is when they're at the most dangerous, when they're playing at this quick... ...pressure on the opposition. They weren't able to convert it into points in the first half, but perhaps now they can. Paul Alouemil getting stuck in. Oh, nice work, Leo Barre almost away from the tackler. Lays it back. This is dangerous for... Uh, for the visitors, Stade Francais closing on the line. Just a couple of metres out. Weber feeds, Briat is there. Barry passes on. Henry, oh, the intercept almost coming through for Niniashvili. Knocked it on, and there is an opportunity. Can Etienne find the corner? He slithers through. He's claiming the try. The referee has given me a try. I think they were. I'm going to have to check on this. But uh, Lester Etienne sliding in for his second try of the season. Stan Francais on the board. And at the point when they were down a man. Now well, let's have a look. I mean, uh, Nini Ashville may be lucky here because that looked like a deliberate knock on from him there. Etienne 
It's shown the outside by Rodrada. The slide in. I'm sure they will want to have another look at this just to make sure. He goes on the slide. Ooh. Well, they will want to have a look at this, I think. The tackle is in there. Did Kuyu manage to get him out? No, they're teeing up the kick, so it's been awarded. Never mind me. Zach Henry. Oh dear, he's not having a good day, is he, Zach Henry? He misses again. Well, just one point in it. He goes in well. I am, I am slightly surprised that there wasn't a look on that on the VAR, but uh, there you go. All good. You saw it at home, and your eyes are probably better than mine. You'll tell me, shushed and away. Let's get on with the action. Big tackle. The whistles ring around the ground. They think it was an illegal tackle. The referee, happy to play on, though. He's, uh, he's done well, Rousselet. I like the way he's refereed this game. It's been pretty sensible. Kept it moving, as uh, does Weber over the top. Nini Ashley gets underneath that and uh, looks for a way through, but uh, a little bit over enthusiastic on his pass to uh, Chapje. Fullback uh, trying to catch a bullet there. It went so quickly, poor old chap joke. So, Pierre Blanc. Oh, it's stolen. There are mistakes going to be made today because it is very, very wet. It's going to be slippery, the ball. Nice work by Maraku. Belda. Now Barre returns the ball into the 22. Berde again. Any Ashville. We haven't really seen the Georgian able to uh, go at full tilt today. Kapoku taking the ball in. Tremendous play in Any Ashville. Got six tries already this season, uh, the Georgian. But uh, as I say, hasn't had much of a show today. Kapoku does well. Ward is uh, he gets a, he gets the uh, penalty. He looks to uh, jackal it, and Kapoku didn't let him. He was on the floor, Kapoku. And I think that hand just went down and stopped Ward from uh, getting it away. The South African has had a, a fantastic season. He is so pumped, isn't he? Uh, more replacements lining up. Jeremy Ward back on the flank. He's uh, this will be his last scrummage for the moment. He'll be back up to 15. In a, in a tick. It's messy. This one. It's there for Weber. No, it isn't. Well, Leon thought they had the, the winning of that one, but uh, in fact, it's going to be another put in for uh, Stade Francais. Thanks. 
So Pierre Henri Azago makes his way on his 70th appearance for Stade Francais. He replaces uh, Paul Gabriag, who is now uh, legitimate and uh, allowed back on. Giovanni Hamble Kufner, the Casor, also coming on. And Saku Makalu. And uh, Paddy Jackson also making his way on. For Lyon. So fresh legs. Weber with the uh, fact it's come back on the Leon side and Paddy Jackson immediately into the action looking for a way through. Kuyu has his kick uh, slightly uh, charged down but it's well taken by Simatoga. Sets it up once more for the visitors. Becca Saginadze has also come on wearing 22 the Georgian. Little dink through. Oh, but straight into the arms of uh, Barre. Who knocks it back for Nini Ashvili to collect. Barre once more. Now, where's he going to go? The uh, the France fullback with the little chip and the chase. But it's Nini Ashvili who collects. Oh, charge down. Now, this could be awkward for uh, Lyon. The pink shirts are there. Mini Ashville trying to do his best. Tough. Moving at a pace. Danger. Leo Barre. Charge down. Dumortier is on top of that one. It's come back on the uh, on the pink side. We're back to that helter-skelter rugby we saw in the early stages when uh, the ball was being pinged around all over. No points were going on the board, mind you. But it was uh, rock and roll stuff. Oh, well, well caught, that man. Semi Radradra. Mortier underneath it. A penalty against Leon for encroaching on the 10 meters. So Jeremy Wood opting for the penalty ahead of the scrum. Looking for the penalty. And they find the touch. So it was against Chap Shape. Didn't stay at the 10 metres. Pierre Blanc finds Makalu. Start front, oh, through the gap. This is wonderful work, and this is going to be uh, Joe Marchand, is it? Yes, he's over. There is the try. The Englishman is over. His first try for Stade Francais. Call it as uh, Joe Marchant. I would have been Giovanni Harbel Kufner. This was the line out. And there it was, Harbel Kufner. Just come on a few minutes ago. Giovanni Harbel Kufner coming in for the for the try. And Stade Francais have their noses firmly in front now. Ten points to six. Zach Henry has missed a couple. 
And this one flies through the middle. Now 12 points to six, Stade Francais lead. Terrific work by the number eight. Pavel Kufner with his second try of the season. He's off at the end of this season. He's going off to Bayonne. He, uh, he only came to uh, Stade Francais last year from uh, Poe. So just uh, two years in the capital. Heading off down to the Basque Country. And who can blame him? Well now. Oh, here comes Kuyu, And this is going to be another try. And there is Baptiste Kuyu's 10th try of the season. And immediately, Leon are back in the game. Well, that was careless from Stade Francais. The high ball went up. The knockback was there, and there was simply no one to collect. Nice little pick-up layoff for Kuyu. And uh, Maraku did a very good shielding job there, didn't they, to stop the tackler coming in. Nothing that uh, Makalu could do there. Well, it was uh, opportunity. Super work by Mikel Guillard to uh, get onto the ball and pop it up for the scrum half. And Baptiste Couillou with his 10th try of the season brings Leon to within a point. Just when it looked as though Stade Francais were going to... Uh, Move away, Leon are back in front. Paddy Jackson between the sticks. It's now Stade Francais 12, Leon 13. Well, no tries in the first half, but three already in the second and uh, just get the feeling there's going to be a couple more as well this game opening up nicely still 15 minutes to play one point in it Lyon remember without a win away from home in the last year they've lost all nine this season Barre looking to uh, charge back Stade Francais in the pink with Jeremy Ward. Weber feeds, pop inside. And Dowie looking for a way through. Oh, the ball squirting out. Simutoga. Couldn't get his hands on it, knocked it forward. And it'll be a, a Parisian put in. Morgan Power up there in, uh, in good voice, part of the uh, Stade Francais coaching staff now. So it'll be Weber with the put in for Stade Francais. Makalu on the side. Keep an eye on him. He makes things happen, Sekou Makalu. Now this is a good drive from Stade Francais. It's Weber. He's uh, scragged by Kuyu. Lays the ball back. There is uh, Makalu. With the feed. Over the top. Makalu is chasing. Into touch it goes. Yeah. 
12 minutes remaining. Il est sous la pression, il subit, il se relève et après il y a le troisième lit noir qui vient pousser. So the penalty for Stade Francais and a chance for Zach Henry to put them in front once again. I think it's at the 21 year old Brock Simutoga who is penalised here. You see him there, that big mop of hair popping up where it oughtn't. And so Henry missed a very straightforward penalty from, about, from the 22 in the first half. Missed a conversion. And this one is through. Stan Francais are back in front. They lead by 15 points to 13. Paddy Jackson and uh, Zach Henry dominated the... Uh, the reverse fixture, which ended at the Stade Matmut with uh, a Stade Francais victory, 36 to 32. On that day, Zach Henry knocked over five penalties and three conversions for 21 points, and uh, Paddy Jackson banned over six penalties and two conversions for 22 points. And as I speak, right on cue, Zach Henry uh, gives way to Juris Segond. So we'll have a different kicker. Chuff J looking for a way through. Leon, have the, uh, the bonus point at the moment. They've only had one bonus point on the road this season. They've uh, played nine, lost nine away from home. As I say, just that one bonus point, and they'll be keen for that, but they would like to get the victory, obviously, with Montpellier already losing today. Papignon were in trouble at half-time. It would be a great opportunity for them to... Uh, Steal some ground in that battle against relegation. Leo Barry pumped. Excellent kick from the fullback. And now Stade Francais have another fine opportunity. Roman Briat could well be the target. Seku Makalu also could be the target. Makalu at the back. Briat in the middle. That's gone to Harbour Kufna at the front. Sorry, as a guy it was at the front. Forgive me, I'm getting my numbers modelled up. Now building, closing in on the line. Weber with a little dink over the top. Oh, he's hit the post. It's going to be taken out. Well play by uh, Chapche. They've got the penalty, though, in their pocket. And back they come. Liam Allen, the man penalised. Being on the wrong side. Joey Sigon, I think, wants the ball. There we go. And Sigon pops it into touch. Good work with uh, Makalu at the back there with the ball tucked under his arm. Well, that was unfortunate. Joe Marchant fancied his chances there of uh, collecting that one. Roman Talfi Finua returns to the fray. Matches the ball, lays it back. It's with Per Blanc. 
Stade Francais working their way towards the line. They're inside the five metres. The defence is crumbling and over they go. And there's a try for Luca Pierblanc. Fourth try of the season for the hooker, playing his 40th game for Stade Francais today. And the home fans are delighted. The smiles writ large across the Parisian faces. It was great work from Briat in the line-out. And then Stan Francais began the rumble. And Père Blanc, there he goes through. And over the line. Well, the home fans might begin to believe now. They might breathe a little easier. And especially if uh, Segond can add the extra two points. Eighty three to his name so far this season. And Jory Segond makes it eighty five and Stade Francais now lead by 22 points to 13. This is a hard-fought day for the Parisians. It's not over yet. They've still got another six minutes. We've seen Leon capable of striking back. Stan Francais, of course, will also be mindful they have three tries to one. Another try would give them a bonus point. Away goes Arno Buerta. Stan Francais penalised. It's uh, Makalu penalised. Off his feet. Paddy Jackson. Finds the touch. Have Leon got something in them over these last five minutes? They trail by nine points. Felix Lombi looking on from the side. Going short to Kuyu, sticking himself at the front of the line and getting things moving quickly. Neat work from uh, Lyon. Nice little interchange there with uh, Chapche. Radradra trying to find a way through. Guillard. Jerome Ray is held up. Put forward just twisting, lays it back. Roman Taufi Fanua doing his best to uh, get them moving forward. It's now with uh, Saginadze. What can the backs do? Rodrada is held up. San Francisco have defended well today. Knocked back Liam Allen. Nini Ashvili looking outside. The ball back with Kuyu. Can he find a way? Can he find a second try? He can. Can he? Oh, just held up. Just taken out. Just a couple of metres from the line. He's such a dangerous player, Baptiste Kuyu. Up the drain pipe. That's where he goes. That foot, though, just sliding out. Took two tacklers. A great throw right to the back. Arbel Kufner going really well there. Time ticking away. Just three minutes remaining for Lyon to scramble their way back into this game. They find now, which makes a Lyon victory highly unlikely. They can still nab a bonus point. 
Well, they've just given away the penalty. Clinging on in the tackle once more. Chap Joe penalised. And the full back. Bested there by Lester Atien. He's taken down. Etienne, you see, doing the jackling. And Chapje hanging on for dear life, really, to that ball. Well, it's a karma Karim Gizal now. He knows this game is all but in the bag. Two minutes remaining. It's been a tough one for Stade Francais. They trailed at half-time, 6-0. But uh, as I said at half-time, they've, tra they've trailed already 10 times this season at half-time, come back to win five of them. It's now 11 that they've trailed, trailed in, and uh, it looks as though it's going to be six that they've come back to win in the second half. Which speaks a lot for their resilient nature this season. We've seen in seasons past when uh, when Stade Francais were not on their game. Well, you, you can't quite, it wouldn't be fair to say you could see the towel flying in from the touchline, but uh, they were they were an easier, psychologically an easier team to beat when they were down. Not the case this season. They've got some spine. They've got a good back. Good set of backs, they've got good leaders on the field. They've, they've had to work so hard today for this one. It's still not over. As Leon come again, looking through the gap, it's knocked on. Makalu collects. Now, what can he do? Seku Makalu, he likes having the ball in hand, lays it back well. Weber feeds. They want that fourth try. Barry sends the ball out wide. Is there time for one more? We're into the last minute. Long pass for Barry. Now, is there a gap opening up? Etienne, Makalu. Oh, Jeremy Ward just behind him. And that, I think, is probably going to be it. Oh, the pass wasn't a good one from Makalu. Jeremy Ward in front of him nothing he could do there but it looked as though they may have a penalty well the reactions from the touchline <laughs> Zach Henry oh so close lads Laurent Levit is uh, making his way down with Morgan Parra. Paris have won this match. They lead by 22 points to 13. They did get a penalty. They have opted for a try. So the, well, in fact, excuse me, Lyon had a penalty and have opted for the scrummage. They can still get the defensive bonus points if they can score. So still, they've got something to play for as well as Kuyu cuts through the middle. Maraku is brought down. Kuyu once again. Please, quick hands, nice work. Jackson getting the ball out wide. Chapche cuts back inside. Where is it? It's with Nini Ashvili. Guillaume Marchand, the replacement hooker, taking the ball in there. Rad, rad, rad. A wide ball out to Liam Allen has to come back inside. This game still on, still on. Oh, it's unfortunately a little bit messy for uh, Leon. Just breaks down their rhythm. Nini Ashvili again in the uh, scrum half roll. They've just got themselves a little bit bogged down at the moment. They want the quick ball, they want it to come back. 
Oh, hang on. Don't drop it. Who are you feeds? Rodrara. Oh, Dumortier scythe down by Lester Etienne. Oh, that's great work by Stade Francais. I think they've won that ball. That is going to be it, I think. That is all I... Well, now... The home side can start celebrating. There is a penalty still to be played, so we're we're not over yet. So now the uh, the balance swings again. Jury Segon knows that uh, another try for Stade Francais, and they get an extra point. So they're going to keep this going, I suspect, as long as they can. Segon finds touch. Not as deep as he wanted, but uh, it'll do. The home fans want the grandstand finish. They want the bonus point. They're only up on the 22. Pierre Blanc with the line out. Finds Briat. Forwards come round there. Making good progress. Pierre Blanc has it. He's got Weber there helping him. Pierre Blanc. Isolated, lays the ball back though. Stade Francais still in with a sniff. In goes uh, Paul Alouemil. Into the 22. Closing on that line. On the short side, Etienne, can he get anywhere? No, but keeps the. Oh, in fact, it's come back now on the. Uh, on the other side, Nini Ashvili keeps it alive, and now there's a little bit of a break. Can Leon bounce back and snatch this defensive bonus point? Oh, the ball turned over once again. Little kick forward from Hamdawi. It's quite a bonkers finish, this. It's uh, it, The ball seems to be changing hands at every opportunity. Where is it now? It's still with the uh, pink shirts of Stade Francais. Is there a little bit of space? Makalu has it, he's dropped it, it's gone behind him. Etienne collects, stands up tall, lays the ball back. We're into the 85th minute. Barre feeds, ooh, a little bit of juggling going on there. From uh, Alo Emil, the ball has gone to ground. It's a knock on, and surely this time it is over. It is, that is the end of the game. Well, we didn't quite have the grandstand finish of a fourth bonus point try for uh, Stade Francais, but they have collected an important win after that defeat against La Rochelle in the last round. They bounced back to win this match against Lyon by 22 points to 13. Stade Francais. For the moment, remain top of the top 14. Well, they had to work extra hard for that one. It was one of those win ugly days. They had a lot of uh, possession, a lot of territory in the first half, couldn't put any points on the board. They trailed 6 0 at the break. Scored three tries in the second half. But very nearly gave it away. And in the end, a fine win for the Parisians. They go five points clear at the top of the top Cators, at least for the moment. Toulouse not in action until Sunday evening when they travel to Bordeaux-Bègles.